Let's give it up for Dakota, you guys. He's in danger. We should care about him. You guys having a good week so far? Yeah, right? Uh, on the fence about it, I see some of you guys. I don't know. I've been having a pretty interesting couple of weeks. I recently was diagnosed with split personality disorder, which means I'm happy, sad, terrified, horny, and surprised to be here tonight. <laughs> Tell you what, though, it has made masturbation a lot more complicated. A lot more complicated than it needs to be, right, guys? Because now I always need to make sure I'm consensual with myself. Like, that's a whole other element I wasn't ready for. Now I need to pause intermittently and check in with myself and be like, hey, are you sure you're not too drunk? <laughs> hey, you know we can just cuddle if you want to. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. I've been trying to take better care of myself, everybody. I did a walk-in yoga class not too long ago, which was a pretty cool experience, I guess. Tried to get more in tune body and mind. I'm not sure if that's what happened, but uh, on the upside, I did learn finally what my yoga mat is for. Turns out it's yoga. Yeah, I bought mine five years ago. I was using it all wrong the whole time. I'm a little embarrassed to admit this to you guys, but I found out at age 27, you're not supposed to use a yoga mat to get way too stoned and reenact scenes from Aladdin. <laughs> that's not the primary function. When I say that, I mean I smoke way too much Afghan Kush, tiptoe around my apartment, and get freaked out by all my lamps. <laughs> Pretty sure that makes me a rookie in the yoga community, doesn't it? I don't know. The instructor, he stopped me on the way out. And he was like, hey, you're new at this, huh? Your first time? I was like, yeah, man, I'm embarrassed. He's like, oh, don't be embarrassed, man. Everybody's bad their first time. I know I was, but keep coming back around. Stay dedicated. In six months, you could be like me. You can be a certified yogi. No offense, man, but you're more like a Paddington. <laughs> Perhaps a Berenstain on your best day. You know, I, I don't know you personally, but I think honesty is important. I worked really, really hard on that joke, you guys. <laughs> you guys have no idea. You guys have no fucking clue how hard I worked on that one. How long I spent in my Build a Bear Joke workshop just to craft that one for you guys. You got no idea. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for bearing with me. And, you know, I still need to work on that bit. You know, a little revisions might be needed. My apologies for the big pause. <laughs> been in a relationship for about uh, two years now, which has been going really well. Uh, I've learned a lot of things, and I'm still learning things. I'm still learning that there's that give and take balance in relationships. And, you know, and sometimes it becomes a little imbalanced, you know. Like recently, my girlfriend and I, we were smoking a joint together, and uh, she hands it over to me to light it but uh, I didn't light all the way, like for even distribution, and I didn't notice, and she did. She's like, hey, give me that. You're canoeing it. Here, let, me, let me fix that. And by fix it, she meant she was just gonna smoke the whole thing. <laughs> and that's an act I like to call titanicking. <laughs> yeah, that's when something was clearly engineered to sustain two people, and then the girl just swoops in, steals the entire thing, and leaves the guy to die out in the fucking cold. <laughs> I'm like, why would you do that, babe? That's so insensitive. You knew that was both of ours. You knew that was a mutual fund. You knew that was from our joint dank account. <laughs> My girlfriend is pretty great, though. Uh, I will say that she has, uh, she has ways of making fun time in the bedroom real adventurous, you guys. And I will say that is the cornerstone of any sustainable relationship. Like, her favorite thing that she likes to do is give me all these secondary commands while we're having sex. I like to call them side quests. You got any gamers in the house tonight? I like to call them side quests. She'll be like, spank my ass, pull my hair, twist my nipple, bite my neck. And I'm like, whoa, do you want to have sex or do you want to play bop it? <laughs> it's like, spank it, pull it, twist it, pull it. Ah! <laughs> Better luck next time. <laughs> I look over at my buddy. I'm like, I don't know, man. See if you can be my high score. Like, <laughs> All right, I'm Aaron Clark. Give it up for Dakota, guys. You guys are great. Thanks.